Johnny, check this out. What the heck is that? Happy Dia de los Muertos, hon. Dia what? Wait, is that a Skylander? Oh, yeah. I admit I got hyped for the inclusion of Donkey Kong and Bowser, so I picked it up. It's actually pretty fun and... Well, hang on. Who's that? This? This is Frightful Fiesta. Though I got the Halloween version. This is the regular one. Hun, I hope you haven't started going too crazy buying these things. It can get pretty expensive. Well, it's cheaper than scalped amiibos. Besides, I found out that the game has all kinds of cultural references in their characters. Like this guy? Exactly. Frightful Fiesta, as he's known in-game, is a great embodiment of the Hispanic holiday Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead. It's speculated that the original concept of the holiday dated as far back as the Aztecs, but it was altered and spread around South America after the Spanish arrived on the continent. Despite how the decorations and participants' costumes may appear, the celebration is actually happy, festive, and overall positive. It's a day in which families and friends come together and pray for the well-being and remembrance of other friends and family members who have passed on into the afterlife. It was originally a summer festival, but much like many other holidays, the Roman Catholics merged Dia de los Muertos around the same time as All Saints Day, i.e. October 31st through November 2nd. October 31st is when kids make altars to invite the spirits of deceased children to visit, November 1st is when it's the adults' turn to visit with altars of food and drink, and on November 2nd, all families come together and visit and decorate the graves of their deceased family members. Well, that sounds pretty cool, but what does it have to do with Skylanders? Well, first off, let's talk about Fiesta's design. I think anyone that took middle school Spanish could tell you that his very name means festival, and Dia de los Muertos is a big one. Plus, Fiesta is very, very obviously Mexican. Not in a real offensive way, but his charro attire, sombrero, even his accent is obviously Mexican. Now that is one righteously awesome instrument you've got there, Fiesta. Thank you, senor boss, but I am no one-man band. It's just not a Fiesta without friends, you know? <laughs> Indeed I do. Well then, why don't you use your solo ability and then come on back here? Like I said, not hitting levels of racism, but his heritage is obviously there. Well, what about his super ornate skull? I mean, even one of his abilities basically turns him into a chattering skull in a sombrero, while the other shoots those elaborate skull notes at enemies. See, that's the cool thing. Fiesta's skull pattern is actually the very symbol of Dia de los Muertos, the Caravera. In Middle Age Aztec culture, skulls and skeletons were symbols of the rebirth and afterlife. It's a perspective on death much like Tim Burton's Corpse Bride. You die, but there's a whole other world waiting for you on the other side. Skulls and bones of deceased were also bleached, decorated, and displayed as well during these times. Now, the caravera are made of clay and even sugar, making them edible, which have also made them popular offerings for family altars and graves, as well as being a good treat for kids. There's even a huge fair called Feria del Alfinique in Toluca, Mexico, where tons of vendors sell all kinds of sugar skulls. Oh, don't look at me like that. I know my Spanish isn't perfect. How about all the little skeleton helpers that Fiesta summons to fight for him? It's pretty safe to say that the skeleton amigos, as they're called, call back to the idea of skeletons representing the next life that awaits after death. But I think they represent something a little more subtle. Let me pull back to that voice clip of Fiesta. Thank you, senor boss, but I am no one-man band. It's just not a Fiesta without friends, you know? See, that's the thing. Dia de los Muertos is more than just celebrating the life of one's family. It's a celebration that focuses on community and friends as well. Well, how about all these musical references? Fiesta looks like he's using some kind of trumpet pistol. The Amigos seem to attack with music, and even Fiesta's car, the Crypt Crusher's supercharged form, is mostly comprised of instruments. Well, it wouldn't be much of a celebration without music now, would it? And with a celebration as old as Aztec, it's no surprise that folk music as old as the 18th century wouldn't have a place in it. See, after the introduction of brass and string instruments from the Spanish, mariachi bands began to take form. And originally hired by owners of haciendas, after the Mexican Revolution, the groups began to wander around the countryside to find their own place in different urban communities. And it's community celebrations like Dia de los Muertos that got mariachi music involved with the holiday. How about Fiesta's vehicle, the Crypt Crusher? Any symbolism behind that? Oh, well, there's that huge calavera in front of his car, which appears to be a reverse trike made out of a coffin. Freaking metal, by the way. With it are Fiesta skeleton amigos blasting projectile music, and there's even a giant Aztec-looking wheel that can be used as part of the vehicle. Really just more of the same themes that we've already talked about, but there is one interesting factoid that I found. Remember Feria del Alfenique? Well, vendors don't only sell sugar skulls, they sell all kinds of treats, including popular sugar coffins. Odd choice of eats for us in the US, but it's still pretty interesting. And really, the cultural inspirations for Skylanders don't even come close to ending there. I've got a ton of characters I can't wait to dissect to show you guys all the cultural references behind them. 
But why work on that? Did you know Splatoon Zapfish is a real thing? Seriously, click here to check out Aki's newest Pixel Pets to find out. Or if you're looking for more Halloween goodies, click here to check out how Friday the 13th for the NES may have been far ahead of its time when it comes to horror games. And if you like this kind of show, don't forget to subscribe to keep up with all of the latest uploads of Game Exchange. But until next time, everyone, this is Gaijin Goomba, signing out.